On the island of Sicily, Italy, a giant stirs. Mount Etna, Europe's highest and most active volcano, dominates the landscape. Its fiery breath has shaped the land and the lives of those who dwell in its shadow for millennia. Etna is more than just a mountain. It is a force of nature. The ancient Greeks believed it to be the workshop of Hephaestus, the god of fire. They wove tales of its fury and power. Today, Etna remains a source of fascination. Scientists study its every rumble. Join us as we embark on a journey to explore the majestic Mount Etna. Mount Etna's story began millions of years ago. The African and Eurasian tectonic plates collided. This collision created a zone of intense geological activity. Magma, molten rock from deep within the Earth, rose to the surface. This process, spanning millennia, formed the majestic cone of Mount Etna. Over time, countless eruptions sculpted Etna's slopes. Lava flows, ash clouds, and volcanic bombs shaped the landscape. Each eruption added a new layer to the volcano's ever-growing edifice. The result is a complex and dynamic geological wonder. Scientists monitor Etna closely, using cutting-edge technology to study its behavior. Mount Etna's fiery temperament is a result of its unique geological setting. It sits on the boundary between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. These plates are in constant motion, pushing against each other with immense pressure. The African plate is subducting or sliding beneath the Eurasian plate. This subduction zone is a hotbed of volcanic activity. As the African plate descends, it melts, creating magma. This molten rock is less dense than the surrounding rocks. It rises through cracks and fissures in the Earth's crust. The rising magma accumulates in a chamber beneath the surface, building up pressure. When the pressure exceeds the strength of the overlying rocks, an eruption occurs. Etna's eruptions vary in intensity and duration. Some are explosive, sending plumes of ash and gas high into the atmosphere. Others are effusive, with lava flows cascading down the volcano's flanks. Mount Etna's eruptions have sculpted a dramatic and ever-changing landscape. Over millennia, lava flows have solidified into vast black expanses. These lava fields, devoid of vegetation, stand in stark contrast to the fertile slopes lower down. The volcano's slopes are also dotted with hundreds of cinder cones. These smaller volcanic vents, formed during past eruptions, rise like miniature volcanoes from the landscape. Despite its destructive power, Mount Etna's eruptions have also created fertile soils. Volcanic ash, rich in minerals, is carried by the wind and deposited on the surrounding plains. These fertile soils support vineyards, orchards and forests, transforming the once barren landscape into a patchwork of vibrant life. Mount Etna is not a single volcano, but a complex volcanic system. It consists of multiple summit craters, flank vents, and a network of underground conduits that channel magma. The summit craters are the most active vents. They are responsible for the most explosive eruptions. Flank eruptions, which occur on the slopes of the volcano, are also common. Beneath the surface lies a vast magma chamber, this reservoir of molten rock is constantly being replenished from deep within the Earth. By monitoring the movement of magma within the volcano, scientists can better predict future eruptions and mitigate their impact on the surrounding population. Mount Etna's history is a chronicle of fire, a testament to its enduring power. Ancient records, some dating back to 1500 BC, document its fiery outbursts. These eruptions, varying in intensity and duration, have shaped the landscape and the lives of those who live in its shadow. One of the most famous eruptions occurred in 1669. A massive fissure opened on Etna's flanks, unleashing a river of molten rock that flowed for weeks. The lava flow consumed villages, 
farmland, and everything in its path, reaching the outskirts of Catania. Centuries later, in 1928, another devastating eruption occurred. This time, the village of Mascali bore the brunt of Etna's fury. The destruction of Mascali is etched in the collective memory of the region. While Mount Etna's eruptions bring destruction, they also bring life. The volcanic ash and lava, though initially devastating, break down over time to create incredibly fertile soil. The slopes of Etna are renowned for their vineyards, producing distinctive wines with a unique terroir. The volcanic soil, rich in minerals, imparts a special character to the grapes, resulting in wines with complex flavors and aromas. Beyond agriculture, the volcanic landscape attracts tourists from around the world. Visitors come to witness the raw power of nature, to hike across lava fields, and to explore volcanic caves. The tourism industry, fueled by Etna's allure, provides a vital source of income for the region. Living with a fiery giant, adaptation and resilience. For the people living on the slopes of Mount Etna, the volcano is a constant presence, a force that shapes their lives in profound ways. They have learned to adapt to its rhythms, respecting its power while harnessing its benefits. Over generations, they have developed a deep understanding of Etna's moods. They know when to seek shelter from its eruptions and when to cultivate its fertile slopes. In recent decades, Advancements in volcano monitoring have given scientists and local authorities valuable tools to predict eruptions and protect communities. Sophisticated monitoring systems track Etna's every tremor, gas emission, and ground deformation. This data helps scientists to anticipate eruptions and provide timely warnings to those living in harm's way. Legends forged in fire. Myths and folklore of Mount Etna. Mount Etna, with its fiery breath and imposing presence, has captivated imaginations for millennia. The ancient Greeks, who settled on Sicily's shores, wove tales to explain its awesome power. They believed it to be the workshop of Hephaestus, the god of fire. He hammered out weapons for the gods, the clang of his forge echoing Etna's rumbles. The volcano's eruptions, they said, were caused by Hephaestus's fiery temper or by the monstrous Typhon trapped beneath the mountain, struggling to break free. These myths, passed down through generations, illustrate the awe and fear Etna inspired. Even today, traces of these ancient beliefs linger in local folklore. A Cultural Crucible Etna's Influence on Art and Identity Mount Etna's influence extends beyond mythology, leaving an indelible mark on the region's artistic and cultural identity. Painters, writers and poets have long been drawn to its dramatic beauty, finding inspiration in its fiery displays and the resilience of the people who live in its shadow. Renaissance artists incorporated Etna's imposing form into their landscapes, often depicting it as a backdrop to religious scenes or mythical narratives. These artworks reflect the volcano's omnipresence in the local consciousness. In literature, Etna has been a source of both terror and awe. From Homer's Odyssey to modern novels and poems, the volcano continues to inspire writers with its raw power and symbolic resonance. The mountain provides Etna's gifts to the people. While Mount Etna inspires awe and fear, it is also a source of sustenance and livelihood for the people who live in its shadow. The volcano's fertile slopes, enriched by volcanic ash, have supported agriculture for centuries. Vineyards, olive groves, and orchards thrive in the rich soil, producing world-renowned wines, olive oil, and citrus fruits. Beyond agriculture, Mount Etna provides other economic opportunities. Tourism, driven by the volcano's allure, is a major industry. Visitors from around the globe come to witness Etna's power, to hike its slopes and to explore its volcanic features. 
the influx of tourists supports a thriving tourism sector, creating jobs and boosting the local economy. A living laboratory, scientific studies on Etna. Mount Etna is more than just a spectacle. It is a living laboratory for scientists from around the world. Geologists, volcanologists, and other researchers flock to its slopes to study its every rumble and tremor. Etna's accessibility and frequent activity make it an ideal subject for scientific observation and experimentation. Scientists use a variety of sophisticated instruments to monitor Etna's behavior. Seismometers detect earthquakes and tremors, providing clues about the movement of magma beneath the surface. By analyzing data from these instruments, scientists can track the movement of magma within the volcano, assess the risk of eruptions, and develop strategies to mitigate their impact. Monitoring the giant's pulse, predicting eruptions. Predicting volcanic eruptions is a complex and challenging task. However, advances in volcano monitoring have given scientists valuable tools to anticipate Etna's fiery outbursts. Scientists use a combination of real-time data and historical records to develop eruption forecasts. By analyzing patterns in seismic activity, gas emissions, and ground deformation, they can identify signs of an impending eruption. Early warning systems, based on these forecasts, allow for timely evacuations and other safety measures, minimizing the risk to human life. Unveiling Earth's Secrets Etna's Global Significance The study of Mount Etna extends beyond the realm of volcanology, offering valuable insights into the Earth's deep processes. By analyzing Etna's magma composition, scientists can learn about the composition of the Earth's mantle, the layer beneath the crust. The gases released during eruptions provide clues about the volatile content of the Earth's interior, which plays a crucial role in volcanic activity and plate tectonics. Understanding these interactions is crucial for predicting the impacts of future eruptions and mitigating their effects on human societies. A window into our planet's past. Mount Etna's long eruptive history, spanning hundreds of thousands of years, provides a unique window into the Earth's past. By studying layers of volcanic ash and lava, scientists can reconstruct past eruptions and learn about the volcano's long-term behavior. These studies help to refine eruption forecasts and hazard assessments, providing valuable information for land use planning and disaster preparedness. In this way, Mount Etna serves as a natural archive, preserving clues about our planet's history and offering insights into its future. Etna, a symphony of fire and life. Mount Etna, Europe's fiery giant, is a paradox, a force of both creation and destruction. Its eruptions, though destructive, have shaped the landscape into a tapestry of volcanic wonders, from lava fields to cinder cones. These eruptions, feared for their power, have also gifted the region with fertile soil. This soil nurtures vineyards and orchards, producing world-renowned wines and fruits. Etna's presence has shaped not just the land, but also the spirit of its people. They have woven tales of gods and monsters around its fiery breath, their lives intertwined with its rhythms. Beyond its cultural and economic significance, Etna is a scientific marvel, offering insights into the Earth's inner workings. Section 2. The Enduring Allure of Mount Etna Mount Etna continues to captivate us. For scientists, it is a window into the Earth's past and future, a key to understanding our planet's evolution. For artists, it is a source of inspiration, its fiery displays and dramatic landscapes igniting creativity. For tourists, it is a spectacle, a chance to witness the raw power of nature and experience the awe it inspires. 
Etna reminds us of the delicate balance between humanity and nature. It highlights the need to respect nature's power while harnessing its benefits. As we have journeyed through Etna's story, we have encountered its fiery temperament, its geological wonders, and its profound impact on the people and the land. Etna, the fiery giant, is a testament to the enduring power of nature, a force that continues to shape our world in profound and awe-inspiring ways. Its story is a reminder that even in the face of nature's most formidable forces, life finds a way to flourish, adapt, and endure.